Hey guys, my name is Intim Raven and I'm back with another episode of Let Us in My Field. Cutting through the shit, I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, which is never a good way to start one of these videos because then I end up forgetting a lot of things that will probably be like later on through Sunday. I'm like, oh, that would have been a really great thing to talk about. My bad. So. Let's do some, uh, let's cover some channel stuff, and then let's kind of go into the more real world stuff, and then we can wrap out this video. Stop, uh, talking. I was like, I was gonna say, are you gonna actually put me in the game? I'd, I'd like to be in the game, please. Okay. Can I has game? I'd like to has game. Um, one of the things that happened this week is that we finished God of War. God of War finally got wrapped up. And it was an amazing feeling. It was a great game. I got the best of uh, video out, which was such a long taking. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like, I have been stressing out about getting that best of video out the way... Um, out at all, let alone like how it got out i'm very excited that it got out i was very worried about it took a lot of time to get out and i'm just happy about at all um so that's one thing that's one thing uh we started playing the walking dead uh the final season which first off i love that you guys are just eating that series up it is a great feeling to see that i'm making a show that you guys actually really want to watch so and that's going to be updated as regularly um, as I can. Which should be a lot of fun. Um, I hope I'm making the right decisions as far as you guys think. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, we jumped up in subscribers for seemingly no reason. Which was again really awesome. Um, love it when that happens, especially when I have no idea why it happens, so thank you. Uh, we started playing Lollipop Chainsaw, which is another zombie game with a female protagonist, which is weird, because I didn't mean for that to happen, it just kind of is what happened. <laughs> but I do like it, it's very, it's kind of the way I see it, it's very much showing of like, you can have the same thing and have two very different games come out of it. Which, I don't know, I enjoy that, I enjoy that part of storytelling, because I'm a dork. So there's that. Um, I've been wondering why I'm using a sniper rifle, it's because I took a dumb challenge of getting like 60 kills in an hour, and I'm not doing well. So, that's why I'm doing sniper uh, challenges. Um, so there's all that, that happened. Oh shit, <laughs> that was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. Um, damn. Uh, So with all that being said, um, let's talk about this week. And I'm very cautious when it comes to using the YouTube word of, of the day. Um, mainly because as much as I have been making videos for the past uh, two and a half years, or maybe three years, I have to check because I'm bad with numbers. Um, I'm definitely not a full-time YouTuber. I'm definitely like this isn't what makes me money. Um, so I'm very cautious of using YouTube word of the day. Um, so when we started, when a lot of YouTubers started talking about burnouts, I was like, you know, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to like that's not something I can relate to. And then I started really thinking about it, 
And then I started thinking about Overwatch and how just Overwatch has been going as a series. And I think if you're ever going to get a case of me having burnout, that's where you see it. You see it in these, in the uh, Platinum Road series, which is insane. Um, and I like I feel bad. That, like, don't get me wrong, there's a part of me that shows every bad that I've done that to myself. You know, it's like, oh, that's not healthy. Um, but there's also a big part of me that's like, no, you guys deserve better as well. Um, this isn't me saying I'm going to stop doing the Platinum Roads. This isn't me saying any of that. This is me saying that I have pushed myself a bit too far when it comes to Overwatch and when it comes to understanding that game. Um, it's not just that game's fault, of course, but, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it as it is, as it were. Um, which is, oh, it's 50 kills with a sniper rifle, which is, you know, disappointing. Um, so there's all that going on with that, and then this week has been a very strenuous week, personally, and I think that's probably the bigger thing is that I used to have things that would give me breaks like um before I was re I had the, the my one job my one job as at a school where I worked with my kids my age group and all that and I was working by myself and I was able to kind of just do things the way I saw fits and it was great um and I was really excited to work with these kids. And I was really excited to be like, all right, I'm getting my kids back. You know, they know me. I know them. And I love these kids. And these kids are some of the coolest little fucks I've ever met. Um, and you can like, see them, where, they, where they're going and how they're going to become as people. And it's uh, fucking amazing. And then I walked in like, okay, I got, I got my kids. It's gonna be awesome. And then, and then I go in, and five minutes before all the kids come, I basically get, oh no, stop. I basically get my information, and it's like, and I get this piece of paper, and it's like, oh, you're working with a different age group. Not only are you working with a different age group, you're working with the youngest age group we have. And part of the reason why I was very cautious about taking this job in the first place is because I do not work well with little kids. I, I can't do it. I'm not, no, I'm not built for that. That's a very specific type of person you need to be to kind of work with children of that age. Um... And I do not have that. I do not have that. I say God bless you if you do. You know, we need you. We need people working with pre-K and kindergarten. Like, those are age groups we need. Of I just know that I am not the person. I am not the person you want doing that job. Um... And now that I am, I'm constantly stressed and under this immense pressure now. Not because I feel like I owe them any anything more than I owe my other kids, but because I, I feel like I have to be on top of my game so much more. You know, I can't let them, I can't let them grow their social skills by letting them do with shit. Um... It's very much on their own terms, and it's very much like I have to be everything for them, which is something that I really, really, really try to avoid doing for my uh, my third, fourth, fifth grade kids. Um, so now I'm in this position where that's no longer an option, and there's yet to be a day so far where I haven't been spoken to about my new position about understanding how the position works and all of this. And I'm not going to lie, I've grown slightly bitter um, because of it. Because it's like, well, if you wanted me to know this information, why didn't you tell me this information before I, you threw me into it? Um,
and I'm and I kind of got in very quickly into this bit of um mindset of like, well, this is what I have to do, and I hate everyone. I don't like clocking in anymore, which is something that I honestly never thought I'd have to say. Um, I my coworker that I work with is an absolute fucking idiot, and I say that having my other job, which I'm about to talk about in a minute, um, because holy shit, that coworker is also an, a massive fucking idiot, and it feels like these things that were these jobs that were supposed to give me breaks and that were supposed to be more of. Hey, you can you can do this and not have not be completely fucked up, or now completely fucking me up. Um, like, in a way, work. Both of my jobs used to be this almost like a a paid break. Like I didn't have to be on camera. I didn't have to you no know, worry about grades or performances. I just had to do my job because I knew because I'm very good at my job. That's why it was relaxing um because i'm i am very good at my job and i'm very proud that i'm good at my job this is this is not me saying um any of that but it's, but now that these things kind of uh, now that this work isn't really helping me anymore and it's being more detrimental it is very obvious and i haven't even started classes again yet which is something I'm about to do next week, and I'm terrified. I'm terrified of what that's going to do mentally. I'm terrified of how that's going to just throw me into the scenario. Um, and and I kind of regret that. There's a lot of that I regret. Um, so that's kind of where I've been mentally. Uh, yesterday, last night, I hung out with. My best friend, um, Cincinnati Kid 135, and we, and we hung out till 2 o'clock in the morning just talking about music and stuff. We went to a bar, which is really amazing. Not because it's like, oh, we went to a bar and drinking, yay, the alcohol or drinks again. No, it's, um, it was just this thing of like, we can actually do this now, and we can hang out, and we can listen to live music, and we can watch people dance, and have this amazing time, and we can be in this moment, and it's awesome. And it was something I absolutely loved. Um, we almost missed it because I forgot my license, so he was like, all right, I'm going to drive, and we're going to go hard. And I was like, oh, okay, I know what that means. He made a 25-minute drive in 10 minutes. And I've never been more scared in my life. Um, <laughs> he's a very intense driver. It's what I'm trying to say. Um, so there was that. Um, but no, it was just it was just good fun, and it was just this amazing kind of like we're coming back together. I started reading Game of Thrones again, which I'm 200 pages in uh, Clash of Kings. Which isn't a lot, considering that it, that's a thousand-page book, basically. But I'm reading that. I'm trying to really like pick up the pace on that. We have our new book for my for the book club, which is Moby Dick. No, um, so that's fun. And I, ugh, I'm not sure if I want to talk about this, but I feel like now that I've already mentioned it like this, I have to because uh, I don't want you guys voting. Um. Basically, things in the house have been very tense. Um, which is another reason why I'm like, oh, wow, burnout, cool. Um, the, the home situation, as you guys know, has never exactly been comfy cozy. And it hasn't... It's not always something that's like, oh... This is something that should be happening. This is a good thing. It's kind of been like, okay, it is what it is. You make do. Other people have a worse thing. You shut the fuck up. Um, and it's kind of fun. And this is going to get weird as I continue to describe this. But this is how it's kind of been. Um, I 
didn't really believe in upsetting trigger words. I believed in, if that makes sense, like I believed in like trigger words as in um, anger, as in rage, but I didn't believe them as in uh, you know getting upset or getting distraught over someone saying something that you didn't like. Um, and then this week happened. It's like, oh, those words do exist. And it, you guys, um, long time viewers will know that I got kicked out of the house I'm currently living in, um, which was awesome and not at all a painful, stressful thing. And it doesn't currently haunt my family relationships to this day. And I will, I am definitely and a hundred percent over it and accumulated to how things are now. Um, and this is going to sound really dumb, but like certain phrases on certain things of like how things were said back then now throw me in a panic and they throw me into this down, very quick downward spiral of, oh, I have to watch everything I say. I have to watch everything I do. I have to, I have to do all these things because I'm not going to be allowed to live in my home. Um, which, I don't know, to me that sounds crazy. That may be relatable for you guys, but to me that sounds very crazy, very um, maddening. Which is something that, you know, shouldn't happen. <laughs> um, but... The, like those those phrases and words have been thrown around this week, and I very quickly went from okay, everything is kind of stressful right now to oh I'm about to get kicked out of my house again. So that's been a thing. Um, I fucking hate working on pools, which is just a dumb a dumb thing because like I'm very much a part of the ideology of like if it's your passion project, you do it. Um, you're going to ask for help, don't, but don't force it on, don't force people to help. So while I'm in this, like, tail, tailspin of, I'm going to get kicked out of my house, and this is just what's happening. It's only a matter of time. Um, I was asked to help, I'm terrible with the fucking sniper rifle. I was asked to help with the pool, and it was just god-awful. Um... And I hated it. I fucking hated every moment of it. And it was something that it was like, okay. Um, at least this would keep me in my own home type thing. And that's what I had to focus on. I was like, this will keep me in my home. I'm not going to get kicked out as long as I do this. As long as I listen to everything they say. As long as I obey. Um, so there's that. Um, and then there's just some family drama that I don't, some other side of the family drama, which I'm not sure if I want to talk about, um, just yet. Um, mostly because we're still kind of in the middle of it and I don't want to make shit worse in anyone's mind by being open about it. I want to, where other people might not be so comfortable with me being open about it. Um, I have grown as a person, um, so there's all that, and I don't know, this has been a really stressful week, it's been a week where I've, uh, kind of come into question my my religion, my spirituality, because of a conversation we had Sunday, um, it is one of those weeks where it's like, oh, okay, this shit ain't letting up, um, and I don't really have time to talk about anything else, um, I'm sorry, I, I gotta go, so thank you guys for watching, for standing by. And uh yeah. I'll I'll see you I'll see you next time. 
Um, bye-bye.